So let me get this straight. So for the past couple of months or weeks now, some South Africans, some organizations in South Africa have been writing petitions, have been writing letters to the organizers of Miss Universe just for them to disqualify Chidemuma because according to them, she's a froster. She doesn't represent what it means to be Miss Universe. It will be, it will be bad. It will be horrendous if she end up winning the whole thing. Just for me to head on to Twitter today, what news did I see? Miss South Africa has withdrawn from the Miss Universe pageant. Yo, hey! Guys, it's not even up to 72 hours before the show airs on TV. So what could have been the reason for Mia to say, you know what, I'm not doing it again? And she cited that the, her reason is she was sick. And I'm thinking, what kind of sickness, what level of sickness can you be having that you don't have it in you to go two more days, to go three more days, and stand a chance to see if you will win? Guys, she didn't matter since it was made known that she was a Nigerian, she was half Nigerian, half Mozambique, and was, and was uh, born here in South Africa, has faced different criticism. Shidema has been bullied. Shidema has been ostracized. Shidema has failed. Like, they called her name. They insulted her mom. They insulted every living being of Shidema. But no, the queen stood strong. The queen stood. Look at her. Look at her showcasing herself on the big stage. She stood strong. She left the shores of South Africa, went to Nigeria, emerged the winner in your face, South Africa. Now she's in Miss Universe trying to bring the crown to the motherland of Nigeria. And Mia couldn't stand one month, two months on the hate. So guys, ask yourself. Ask yourself. Before you bully somebody, I've been reading a lot of comments. Nigerians are saying it's Kama. South African are saying it's uh, Chidema using Juju. <laughs> Which I've been laughing. I've been laughing because at the end of the day, nobody knows. Only Mia knows. So am I even going to the extra mile of saying that Mia has been uh, uh, has been facing some discrimination because of her disability? Because she can't, you know, she can't hear. So a lot of people are saying that she has been discriminated. That people are discriminating against her. Some are saying that all the other African con uh, contestant have been. Uh, sidelining her because of what south africa did to she a lot a lot a lot a lot of opinion opinion has been flying and to be honest with you i don't even know which she switched all i'm going with now is what she said in her statement that she is sick and that she can continue but my thing is it's in two days time today is friday saturday sunday guys two days time two days time unless your legs are broken unless you can't stand strong, unless you can't even stand or speak. That's the only reason I feel like you should exempt yourself from the competition when it's in two days' time. But whatever it is, all I'm saying is I wish her all the best. Whatever thing she's doing next, I wish her all the best. And uh, guys, let's keep supporting our queen. She the addition for the win. Miss Universe 2024. Is going to be Mrs. Shirema additional. Guys, just take a look at this beauty queen. Take a look, take a look at this queen. Look at that step. Yo, look at that cat walking. Mm. You are my African queen. Mm. Guys, no. Shirema for the win. Shirema for the win. Take me anywhere. Shirema for the win.